Greetings, greetings, friends. Hope everyone is well. Greer and I are gonna do something a little different for our Saturday video. Tony and Mallory were busy today for Camping Corner, so we're going to split it up and we're gonna show you a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, a toy hauler, and a motorhome. And I am gonna do this Cougar 354. The snow is mostly mounted, melted, not mounted, melted as you see all of our little aisleways are clear and we've got walking paths to get to the campers talking about a little bit on the outside you do have two campsite slides here you've got a big electric led awning outdoor speakers solid steps which you guys know i'm a huge fan of the solid steps this is a really cool floor pan i, I cannot talk today <laughs> This is a really cool floor plan. I took it from Greer. So it is front living. Up here in the front living, we've got our jackknife sofas on both sides. Those do turn into beds. We have our theater seating here that does have heat, massage, and recline. I wish the heat was working right now out here. We have the cool roll-up, roll-down TV. I love it because if you're at a beautiful campground or you want to people watch, put TV down. If you want to relax, watch some TV, in the evening, put the TV up. Nice big electric uh, fireplace, so you're not using your propane. That's gonna take the chill out of most of this camper. You do have storage on both sides, as well as up top. Pan around here. This does have a very, uh, like very much a living room feel to it. The kitchen in this one is really cool. So as you see, you've got a really big kitchen. I gotta quit saying really, sorry. You've got a nice big kitchen. You've got plenty of countertop space here with your 50-50 stainless steel sink. You've got your three burner stove, uh, residential sized microwave, residential stainless steel refrigerator. And then you've actually got a bunch of more space over here with cabinets and drawers. Show you the price. This is this does have an additional sale on it. I think this one is fifteen hundred off, or maybe two thousand off. In addition, during our sale, that you guys have probably heard, but it is going on now through the twenty seventh. Um, we're not open on Sundays, just Monday through Friday. So we have our freestanding dinette in this nice area with plenty of windows. We've got a nice size bathroom. You've got your toilet, stand-up shower. You do have some storage up above. Then we've got our medicine cabinet, sink, storage below the sink. And then last but certainly not least is your bedroom. You've got the king-size bed in here with storage underneath the bed. Nightstands on both sides, as well as the his and her closet and some additional storage up there. And you have a nice big closet here with drawers, as well as... An additional closet here that does have washer dryer hookup hidden back behind there right back there so you could use this as washer and dryer so this can be a full-time living unit or if you're like my wife and i and you go for extended trips then you can do all your laundry you've got plenty of places to store your food so now we'll jump over to greer and the next unit okay so now we're going to go through the 28 bhss puma travel trailer this thing weighs a little over 7,300 pounds and we're gonna show you some stuff on the outside first. So you have your front cap that is brand new. It has that new whitish color. I think before it was all um, kind of the darker grayish colors, but it looks really awesome. You have the diamond plate down at the bottom to prevent you know rocks from scratching the front cap. You have your power tongue jack at the front and then propane is under that plastic case. And then I'm gonna try to open this without getting snow all over my shoes but you have some storage at the very front and you're also prepped for uh, solar you do have front and rear stabilizer jacks and two sets of entrances there is also a power awning that stretches all the way across for some additional shade then you got your outdoor speakers 110 hookup and a mount so you probably could put a tv out here if you want and then this is your main entrance with your solid steps. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys. You do have an outdoor kitchen on this coach. So you got your uh, griddle all the way at the back. And then in the middle is your sink with some storage underneath. And then of course you got a mini fridge. 
so it's really cool kind of cuts down on the traffic to go in and out of the camper you don't have to worry about lugging all of your um, kitchen gear inside and outside you kind of can use both and then there is a ladder at the back so you do have a fully walkable roof you are also prepped for a rear view camera and you got your spare tire let's go inside because i am freezing all right so let's start with the very back of the camper as you can see this is our bunk house so you got a sofa that also folds down into a bed right across from your main entrance and it even has cup holders but if you want to fold it up you can do that and then you have three sets of bunks that i believe have 300 pound weight capacity so a full-size adult can actually sleep up there across from your sofa you got a dresser with some storage underneath um, outlets right there so you can put a tv for your kids they can watch movies and then even more storage up above Coming into our living room and eating space, you got your U-shaped dinette to the left of that entrance. This also folds out into an extra bed. And what's really cool about the booths, you do have storage underneath the actual seating parts. Across from that is where your kitchen begins. So it has kind of an L-shaped countertop, but you, know, you have a lot of food prep space if you need it. And the price, before I forget it, is $27,999. So it's a really awesome price. And then, of course, you have those updated countertop and um, cabinet colors, so it's nice and bright in here. You have some extra cabinet space up above your sink. Your sink is also a open stainless steel one that has this roll-up cover. That's actually two. Yep, so you can have one cover on one side, and while you're um, washing dishes, you can put your dishes up here, let them dry, or you can just use it for additional countertop space. Storage down below. To the left, you got your three burner top stove with a glass range cover. Then you got your oven. Looking up above is a microwave. And then you got your residential size refrigerator. Lots of room in there so you don't have to make a lot of trips to the grocery store. Then you got some hidden storage down below. To the left, you have some pantry space. Put all of your dry goods in there. Across from your refrigerator, you have your jackknife sofa that also folds out into a bed. So this camper actually sleeps a bunch of people. You can bring your friends along, all of your kids, you know, your in-laws, your parents, pretty much anyone you want. Storage cabinets up above. And then kind of at an angle is your entertainment center. So you have your electric fireplace down at the bottom. Um, this does emit heat and it's really really awesome makes it extra homey in here and you can change the flame on the fireplace your bluetooth speaker system is just above there kind of an extra cubby for some decorations and you have your mantle so it really feels like an actual fireplace swivel tv up there so you can change posi positions of it if you would like coming in through here is your second entrance to the bathroom so this is really nice it cuts off on foot traffic so you've if you guys are really enjoying your um, just outside activities, you don't want people bringing in mud or sand or dirt or anything, you have this entrance right here. You have your foot flush toilet to the right of the entrance. And then you got your Neo Angled rounded out shower with plenty of room to turn around in. There is even a skylight. And you have your vent fan up there to help get rid of unwanted odors. Your sink is right next to your outside entrance. You have some storage below it, countertop space, and then some extra shelving. And then up above is the medicine cabinet. So now let's go to the very front, which is our master bedroom. So you got your queen size mattress with storage underneath, long end tables on both sides. So you can put extra things right there. And there's even outlets so you can charge your electronics while you're sleeping. There's also his and hers closets on both sides, and then some extra cabinets up above. But that is it for this Puma, you guys. Let us know what you think about it. So here we are with number three on the list. Uh, I said toy hauler. I didn't say fifth wheel or travel trailer. So I'm picking travel trailer because this is a new one that we got in. This is a carbon. I gotta check what model it is. See, I'm not even sure what model it is. 
This is the 36. So if we look on the outside, you do have your second entry into your garage. You have your outside speakers. You have your storage up here at the front. Nice size storage. I'm gonna wade through the snow. We have paths to the one side of the camper, but not the other side of the camper. So if we go to this side, you'll see we have our own non generator. So this does come with the generator. And then at the back, I'm not gonna wade back there, but you've got your gas pumps and stuff back there and your gas tank. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. We'll start up here at the front. It's just gonna be the bedroom. So you've got your queen size bed. It does have storage underneath it. Nightstands on both sides of the bed, as you can see. Actually, a big nightstand on this side. His and her closet, really tall his and her closet with storage up above. You've got the AC back here in the bedroom. And you do have a TV mount here, so you can mount a, a, a swivel TV. Got the key TV system. Pass-through bathroom, so you have your tub-shower combo. Your sink with storage below. Medicine cabinet with storage. Toilet, of course. And then we come out here to the main living area. You've got a nice big couch that all reclines. You've got heat. You've got massage. Uh, cool kitchen area. So it, it's got a big stainless steel sink. You have your three burner stove, microwave, refrigerator. And as you can see, you've got a lot of cabinet space, including back here behind your like L-shaped island. And then directly across from your couch, that's where our TV entertainment area is. Again, more storage here along the side, as well as above your TV and below your TV. And last but certainly not least, we come out to the garage. So here in the garage, we've got an 11 foot garage. You do have your railing to put that down and form a patio that is pet and kid friendly. Your couch is on both sides will come down, those can also turn into a bed, and then you've got your additional bed here that will roll down. So this is great, uh, second bedroom, full-time camping, kids room, like tons of space back here. And like I said, nice additional living space on those beautiful summer days when you wanna sit back there on the back patio. Turning around, you'll see that we do have a place to hook up a TV here in the garage, as well as some storage up above. And then you actually have a half bath here so you can use the restroom, get cleaned up if you're dirty before you go into the camper, which is super nice. Um, one other thing I was going to point out, what was it? I just went blank. Uh, guys, I don't even remember what I was going to point out. Anyway, so there you have it. Now we're gonna jump over with Greer and check out one of our motorhomes. We are on the last one. This is the Thor Axis 24.1, and this is a Class A motorhome. It actually comes in weighing, I believe, a little over 10,600 pounds, but this thing is just packed with a lot of features. So showing you some stuff on the outside first. I'm not quite sure what is locked and unlocked. You just have a bunch of random storage everywhere, which is always a plus. Right next to your main entrance, you have even more storage. And then at the very back, if I can open it, there we go. You just have a lot more storage and there's actually three access doors, one at the very rear of the camper and one on the non-camping side. But on the very back of your camper, you got your ladder, so it is a walkable roof. There is frameless windows all across this thing, and you do have a power awning that stretches all the way across, so you have that additional shade if you need it. This also has a 12-year structural um, warranty and a six-year lamination warranty, so it's always a plus. Try to open this. There we go. All right, so now that we're inside where all the lights are on and it's nice and toasty, to the right of the entrance is obviously where you drive your camper, nice leather seats. Um, you have your driver's seat and your passenger side, but you do have this really fancy command system. So you're able to um, access your AM radio, your FM radio, and just all a bunch of other stuff, GPS and whatnot. Looking up above is just an extra sleeping space. I'm not quite sure what size mattress this is, but it's just an extra spot if you need it. And it is controlled by 
kind of a levering type of system. You press the button and it lowers and raises so you don't have to hit your head while you're driving if you want to get up or something. Your TV is right above your main entrance and it is on a swivel. So if you need to change directions of it, you can do that. Across is your nice leather sofa that matches the leather on your driving and passenger side. This also folds out into an extra bed. There is cup holders on either side so you can get all comfortable. Storage up above. Across from that is your kitchenette area. And the, you can't extend the countertop space if you need it, but you do have a cover over your sink. I love that it's rounded and it's really deep. So you can put all of your dishes in there and it's stainless steel. Pull down spray nozzle with the gorgeous matte black finish. The price for this unit, before I forget, is $85,985. Down below, you just have all kinds of storage and you have your microwave convection oven. And then up above, you do have your stove top that also has a glass range cover. And you just have additional countertop space. And then before going into the hallway, you do have an AC. You actually have, I think you can put two of them in here, but you have the one in the main part of your camper so you can stay cool. Kind of an accent mirror before heading down the hall. And then here is your refrigerator. It's actually a really good size. You don't have to make too many trips to the grocery store. And then just additional storage. You can use this for your bedroom storage or just bathroom stuff. And we actually have a table stored in here so you can kind of decorate that anywhere you'd like couple drawers down below and then across from your refrigerator behind these doors try to open it with my right hand there we go is your bathroom so as you can see the doors open up to a full-size mirror so you can use that to help you get ready and you have this privacy because they do have magnetic latches so it's kind of like your own bathroom well I guess it is but it's closed off and it just feels a lot bigger your toilet is straight across and it is porcelain with a foot flush. You do have some extra cubby space up above. And you, of course, you got your vent fan. Your nice rounded shower, plenty of room to turn around in. And then the same type of sink as their, um, the one up in the kitchen. It is rounded, so it's a bowl, but I don't know. I just kind of like the way they look. Storage down below. And then, of course, you have a medicine cabinet. You even have a outlet, so if you need to plug in your hair dryer or your electric toothbrush, you can do that. And then let's head back to the very back. So this is your master bedroom. I believe you can move the mattresses together if you want a, actually a bigger one. Um, but you do have some hidden storage underneath. Or if you want to keep it separated, you can do that as well. And this ladder is actually what you use to get up in the loft all the way at the front of the camper. But you do have a TV back here so you can watch movies and relax. And then kind of a wrapped around cabinets all the way around. So you just have a lot of storage in this camper. It's very gorgeous, light and bright colors. But that is it, you guys. Those are just some four options of campers. We do have 66 acres, so you guys will have to come check that out. See all, all what we have. Um, so that's it, thanks. Thank you.